Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Convenience Store Agility Summit. My name is Rob Shell, and I help lead our go-to-market teams here at Zimput. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy days to join us today. And I'm very excited for our session in which I'll give you an overview of the actual Zimput platform and specifically how so many of your colleagues in the convenience store industry have come to rely on Zimput day in and day out as the single operations execution platform they use to drive better, more effective communication across their field, store, and home office teams, give operations leaders a lot better visibility around what's happening day to day in their store environments, and of course, use all of that information to provide great insights around big, big trends in their organization uh, or areas of opportunity for improvement that they can use to drive better action to raise the bar on quality and consistency across all of the guest experience and work that needs to happen. I'm very excited for today's session to walk you through the platform. And without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Today, we'll be walking through the two core components of the Zimput application. First, we'll take a look at the Zimput mobile app, which is designed to be used by your field and store teams to understand what work needs to get done at what locations throughout the day and actually execute upon that work. And the second component we'll spend time going through is our web portal, which is really designed for usage across your operations leadership, department heads, and other home office personnel uh, that need a single easy place to go to communicate out what work needs to get done, important announcements that are relevant to our field and store teams in their day to day, uh, and of course run lots of great reporting to get insights in real time around important operational trends uh, or issues that we may want to address as a business. Let's first start on the mobile application view. Many of you uh, are familiar with the day-to-day -day in the stores, but as you can imagine, coming out of 2020 and into this year, our teams are busier than ever, and we may have less staff involved in our stores today uh, than we ever have before. So, so many organizations in the space are really prioritizing any kind of initiatives and projects uh, that they can drive better productivity across their teams uh, and ultimately make their day-to-day -day jobs easier at the store and field level. And that's exactly what the Zimput application aims to do. You'll see, no matter who I am in the organization, I have a tailored view uh, for my specific role and job to help me align on what's most important for that day or for that week by assigning me out tasks and letting me know exactly what operating procedures uh, need to get done. So whether I'm a store team member that needs to focus on a variety of procedures throughout the day, ranging from pump checks to opening checklists, cash audits, uh, and even uh, important food quality and safety initiatives like HACCP logs and temperature checks. Um, or I'm a field team member that's responsible for uh, oversight across my stores and completing things like uh, mystery shopper audits or store visits. All of the information that I need to do to do my job effectively is delivered in one single application. Let's walk through a day in the life uh, of a district manager and store team that are leveraging the platform today. You'll see on the right hand side of the screen, I'm logged in as a field team leader. And not only can I see exactly what work I need to get done this week in my task view, but I also have instant visibility across all of the stores that I support. Many of your field team members may be struggling with some common problems we see, whether they're spending too much time at the stores, going in the back office and reviewing paperwork, or logging into multiple systems to understand what's been happening since their last visit, um, or struggling with communication between themselves and the store around things like corrective actions. We can solve all of that really quickly and easily uh, simply by adopting this input mobile application. 
So as a district leader or a field leader, as I go in to complete my audit of the store, all of the relevant information that I need to effectively coach and train is presented at the click of a button. I can dive into store 1391, see what tasks they have due today and for the week, if there's any overdue items, and also view their historical work and see how they're doing in terms of completion across a lot of the core operating procedures we expect them to do day in and day out. Uh, I can see these, these trends over the past four weeks, over the past couple of months, uh, and so I can easily highlight before I even walk into the store some areas that I know I want to focus on from a coaching and training perspective. Now, across all of the different use cases that our customers leverage in the mobile application today, we want to make it very simple to deliver those from the home office out to the store and structure our team's day by letting them know what work needs to get done, when these items need to get completed, and give them a heads up about tasks that may be coming down the line later that day, due this week, or even upcoming in the future. Um, all of the, this work, uh, tasks, and forms can be translated into Zimput really easily. So we're doing familiar work. We're completing a lot of the same forms that we're doing in more manual processes today, but we're taking the opportunity to not only make it easier to get this done by walking around the store with our tablet or our phones, but we're also using it as an opportunity to uh, better the communication and give more pointed feedback to our teams. A great example is around field auditing and the ability to capture important information in context of our store visits or mystery shops. In this case, if I note that the outside of our store is uh, presentable, rather than just telling my store that and having them go, uh, expect them to go clean that, I can actually show them the key areas that I really want to focus in on to make sure that they are uh, aligned with what my expectations are. This is a fantastic coaching and training tool. If our field teams can go ahead and start to highlight some of the areas and make it very easy for our stores to go fix those issues. Across a lot of the forms, we touch on things like uh, our customers are focused on, on operational procedures, cleanliness, uh, making sure that the store is presentable and that we're upselling guests and providing a great experience. Um, but many of us that are uh, in the industry that may have more uh, well-developed food safety programs, uh, you may be leveraging input for things like uh, your temperature checks and HACCP logs or even those of us that are just worried about the product uh, quality that are in our stores today, we may be doing important work around checking the temperatures of our equipment uh, or products on the roller grill. This is uh, notoriously difficult to manage at scale, whether you're running 10, 50, or 5,000 locations, there's a lot of training effort that goes into enabling your teams to be able to keep our customers safe and our products at a really high quality. And Zimput can oftentimes be their best friend in their day-to-day -day and take the mental guesswork out of a lot of the actions that need to be completed. A great example is on any important temperature check, if I log temperatures that are outside of the range of what acceptance is uh, by our company standards or by FDA standards, Zimput can help guide them into the path of resolution immediately. If there's a particular issue, we can go ahead and make immediate uh, corrective actions and log that information. Uh, so not only are we tracking you know, incidents that occur or, or uh, compliance with these issues, we're also tracking what happened to resolve those issues and make sure that our food is safe. Many of us also uh, spend a lot of time in the operations world as boots on the ground for other departments. So uh, whether we're doing food safety checks or operations checks, oftentimes we spend a lot of windshield time driving from store to store just to validate things like marketing promotional rollouts, whether this is for a particular event or just a monthly or quarterly change of uh, signage or POPs. Um, Zimput aims to deliver all of this to your stores and make this easy uh, and eliminate a lot of that windshield time for our field team leaders. 
if we can assign out important information like planograms and set the right expectation for our stores to go follow, and then ask our store teams to simply provide visual verification that these items are properly set up, it reduces uh, oftentimes hours a week of our district managers having to physically go to the stores uh, and validate these things. And it makes it very simple for your stores to provide real-time feedback up the chain as well. So really, no matter what the work is, uh, operational, uh, food safety, marketing, HR, uh, a lot of the processes that uh, are encompassed in uh, the platform by our customers today, um, we will aim to really drive efficiency in getting these done. We certainly understand that uh, the primary job of our store team members or field team members is not to get checklists done, and it's actually to provide a great customer experience by interacting with our guests. So by saving time throughout the day in our checklist, we're giving hours back per week and per month uh, to all of these team members to focus on the things that are most important. Now, in addition to actually physically getting the work done, oftentimes that uh, another problem that we see across the industry is communication can be very difficult. I can't physically be in the stores every single day uh, as an operations leader or as a field team leader. And so effective communication becomes a really important part of ensuring quality and consistency across our stores. And Zimput aims to make that very simple by automating the communication of things like corrective actions and follow-ups. As you'll see here, my store 1391 that we just audited, uh, where we had the cleanliness issue, receives an immediate task upon completion of the audit, uh, letting them know that there's an exterior cleanliness issue. We need to go fix that. Again, communication-wise, I know exactly what my DM's expectations are and where I need to go fix and I can go easily solve the problem and provide that feed time, uh, that feedback in real time to my field teams or my operations leaders. So no matter where I am in the field or at the home office, I have real time visibility and a line of communication with my store teams uh, to ensure that any corrective actions are getting done. And we're uh, doing the things that we need to do day in and day out to provide a great safe experience for our customers. Now, many of the tasks that you may be focused on uh, from a SOP or a procedural level uh, require a lot of manual effort from our teams, and we can do a great job of cutting down on the amount of time it takes to get these items done. But especially in light of today's market conditions, there's a lot of focus on even entirely eliminating manual effort if it's unnecessary. And so as many of your colleagues are starting to think about how can we start to leverage things like IoT devices to remove entire processes of manual effort when we can. So you'll hear in other sessions today around how companies like Hutchinson Oil are actually leveraging Zimput temperature monitoring solutions in their stores uh, to entirely remove the ability to um, uh, require their teams to physically go check equipment temperatures. I have sensors in my coolers and my walk-in that let me know exactly what those temperatures are. And in case there's any kind of issue, uh, the system is automatically alerting to that no matter what the time of day is so we can go take corrective action and save our product and ensure that that product quality is going to be very, very high. I highly encourage you to check out some of the other Summit videos. And of course, we're happy to spend time diving in to some of the other IoT solutions that play really well in eliminating some of that manual effort. Now, on the back end of the solution, every piece of uh, work or uh, item that's executed upon at the store level is communicated in real time back to the home office view. And in our web portal, again, operations leaders, department heads, and, and other home office staff can really use this not only to drive the right behaviors by assigning work out you know, assigning uh, critical announcements out to their teams to make sure that they're in the loop on important information, but they can come in and really diagnose how our stores are operating on the day to day. So you'll notice the first thing that you see when you log into the Zimput platform is what we call our heartbeat dashboard. 
The uh, Heartbeat dashboard gives operators at a click of a button, a really great glimpse inside of how their stores are operating. We track qualitative metrics, like how many overdue items are there across your environment. So you can follow up specifically uh, with uh, individuals that may have outstanding work that we need uh, and require to get done. I can see generally across my org, how I'm doing in terms of getting work done on a weekly or quarterly basis. Or I may want to dive in and find out how uh, we're doing specifically uh, around really critical processes on an individual level. If we're focused on food safety and the critical uh, nature of getting that work done, I can dive in instantly and see how our teams are doing in terms of executing upon those initiatives um, at any point in time. In addition to those more quantitative metrics, uh, we don't want to just focus on is the work getting done on time or not. Um, we also want to focus on the fact that we need to see if that work is getting done at a really high quality. And so one great way that we can do that on the dashboard is highlight some of the frequent issues that often come up uh, across your mystery shops, across your brand standards assessment, and really any process that's being done in this input platform. So as an ops leader, if I have instant visibility into the fact that we have some strong trends and issues with bathroom and outside cleanliness, I, I can actually drive better action quicker and make more educated um, uh, inferences around uh, driving things like incentives or training programs that'll help curb that bad behavior. Now, obviously, a lot of this information is driven around setting the right expectations and driving the right behaviors for our teams. And that's why we spend at Zimput so much time uh, providing abilities to give our customers um, an easy way to assign any type of workout, regardless of what the work is, who needs to do it, and when those items need to get done. We want to make a, a single location for us to be able to easily assign that workout at a moment's notice to our teams. So whether we're assigning out all of the critical day-to-day -day SOPs on a daily or uh, even during certain hours of the day, we're assigning out weekly work to our teams or even a one-off marketing proposal, um, uh, promotional check. Uh, it's very easy to come assign this workout and actually get real-time statistics in terms of progress in how we're doing across all of these locations. If I need to, for instance, dive in and see any of the individual assessments that were done, it's very simple to dive in and see uh, at a granular level the information that's coming back from the audit that was just completed in my field just a minute ago. I can see all the answers answers to their audit questions, the scores coming in, and of course, things like visual verification in the terms of photos. But I can also hold my teams a lot more accountable by highlighting uh, important accountability metrics like where were they in context of the store when they're getting their work done. So we're ensuring we're spending time actually at the store coaching and training uh, or you know, making sure that we're spending the appropriate amount of time um, making sure that our teams are doing the right things and coaching and training them effectively. Now, many of you uh, probably don't have a, a way to get this level of visibility into the day-to-day -day work uh, without physically having to be at your stores. And this is a great way to get eyes and ears into the day-to-day -day, uh, items that are being completed. However, many of you are also looking for better ways to understand this more at a macro level. And that's where our Zimput uh, uh, reporting capabilities can provide great insights to operational leaders um, so I can make better decisions across my organization uh, by highlighting things like uh, trends across our assessments on a weekly, uh, week to week, month to month, quarter to quarter basis to see where the areas where we may be um, falling behind or getting better uh, so we can continue to drive those initiatives or understand the effectiveness of our programs that we're putting in place. I can even dive more granularly into information across my org to highlight particular issues and understand what stores are struggling with these items uh, at a more granular level from this reporting capability. 
And of course, um, not being in the stores all the time, uh, there's a lot to be said for visual verification uh, and visual eyes inside of the store. And so by aggregating things like photos coming back from the work that your teams in the field and stores are doing, whether or not I'm an ops leader uh, wanting to understand um, the quality of and presentability of our stores by looking at things like lighting and making sure that you know, our stores are clean and presentable, or I may be a marketing executive that's rolling out a brand new POP or in caps in our stores. And I wanna get a bird's eye view of how all of those look in our stores without physically having to send out our district managers, reporting on capabilities that allow me to see this level of insight in one single place can be incredibly effective uh, in making sure that we're um, not only doing the right things, but doing them quickly so we can drive revenue from those promotional item programs. Now, lastly, a lot of this has been driven around the actual work that we assign out, your daily SOPs, your audits, your checklist, a wide variety of different physical work that needs to get done. However, oftentimes organizations struggle even with the simplest communications around uh, important news or updates that are relevant to their teams. So Zimput also provides the ability not only to assign out work, but communicate effectively and send important messages to your teams and also validate that they are being viewed and understand, uh, understood by our teams. So by leveraging things like announcements, we can accommodate a lot of uh, and accompany a lot of the work we're assigning out with important information around uh, storm warnings or updates to store hours or even previews of promotional work that's going to be relayed. We can assign that work out to our teams, but also communicate out a general messaging, whether it's sending uh, notes about particular items and also tracking uh, that making sure that all of our teams have interacted with that information. If I need to go see uh, who has not yet understood or, or validated that information, I can easily see that across my org and even resend to the people that, that may not have interacted or understood the messaging yet. So I'm driving a lot more awareness around critical information around, in this case, updating emergency contact information um, for the upcoming storms. Now, I hope this was uh, a great preview and overview, at least at a very high level in terms of some of the ways that your colleagues in the convenience store space are leveraging the platform to get a better understanding of what's going on, better align store and field teams around the key initiatives that they need to focus on, uh, and get really important insights into trends in my business. Uh, so overall, we feel really confident that we are delivering a consistent guest experience across all of our stores each and every day uh, so we can be the best we can be as a brand and ultimately drive a lot more revenue. If you have any questions around the Zimput platform, please feel free to reach out. We're happy to uh, speak further around use cases and uh, some of the value that we bring and provide personalized demonstrations for you. But I also highly encourage you to hear some of the value directly from our customers uh, and folks in the industry uh, through the other Summit videos. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great rest of the day.